Good morning. You may know that I'm a student of A Course in Miracles, and today's lesson was really interesting. I have no neutral thoughts. And I thought I'd share with that with you today because it follows along with what I've been talking about, the power of your thoughts and how they are not from someplace outside of you, but from within you. So as today, as I started thinking about this idea of there's no neutral thoughts, one of the ideas that was shared is, is that all thoughts, all thoughts, remember I said this the other day, all thoughts create on some level. Our thoughts are powerfully creative and our thoughts draw things to us or repel things from us. Now, I... I I wanted to share this because I thought it was important for me to tell you that you know how I was saying to you that thoughts are like prayers, just as your words are like prayers. They're powerfully creative. The same would be true is you consider this idea of no idle thoughts, that your thoughts all create on some level. So either you're creating love or you're creating fear, either creating peace or you're creating war. It's no in between. So yeah, you could think about nothing and they say, yeah, but nothing doesn't go anywhere. If you just have no thoughts or any feelings about anything, they don't go anywhere. But now get this, the Course in Miracles tells me that as you know, that, that as I treat my brother, as I see my brother, I shall see myself as I treat my brother, I shall treat myself. Never forget this because in my brother, I will find myself or lose myself. Who's your brother? Everybody's your brother. Now, why do I think that that's important to tell you? Because what it teaches me is, is that what I would deny somebody else I cannot have. So if I would think for anybody that I wouldn't want the very best or that I wouldn't want them to have the the job they wanted or the relationship they wanted, if I sought to deny anybody anything, even in my thinking, I deny myself that. Now, is it time to clean up your thinking and your thoughts? Because if you don't have peace in the world, in your world, it's not only because you don't want it for somebody else, but it's because you have not consciously chose peace. Oh, it's time to do some house cleaning, isn't it? Hey, this has been Sandra. I'm at my three minutes. I will talk to you tomorrow. We'll get some more of this. It's juicy stuff. And three minutes, I don't know if it's enough, but yeah, you can make it work. Hey, follow me on Spreaker um, or like my comment or something. I, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for listening.